Hey guys, it's Lisa. Today I am partnering with Walmart to share with you one of the best makeup tips, hacks, whatever you want to call it, that I have seen in a long time. It's actually from TikTok. I do not watch TikTok. I have the app and I think I have some stuff on there, but I'm just kind of maxed out. But a lot of you will send me good things from TikTok. So I figured there's probably more of you out there that don't watch TikTok that I could share this with you and maybe you would love it. So today I have on mostly makeup from Walmart. The only thing I don't have on is foundation because I have not found a full coverage stay all day foundation that I love. If you have one, then let me know. And after this tip, I will go through some other new stuff that I have. So let's start off with the tip or the hack is for contouring. And thank you to whoever sent it to me because I have used it so much and it has made the biggest difference. So I'm gonna use my go-to favorite out of every high-end contour palette that I have. This is my favorite and it is the Butter Bronzer Contour Palette. I like a pointed brush. If not, take a smaller fluffy brush. I dip it in this shade. And then I always kind of work it in because this is a soft formula. What you do is you take your hand and I know it is a lot to get used to because I don't like my hands to be on my face. It's just kind of an unnatural feeling, but take it from me, it works. So what you do is put your hand there and there, do this. And what it has done for me is keep it sharp, and keep it high. One problem I have, it's so easy for me to want to go into the actual hollow, and it seems to get kind of splotchy down here. And I think I've told you before how much I love a really clean jawline. So that is that side. And then you can blend it out some if you want. I'll try to go up, not down. Okay, and for the next side, I thought we would try something for the first time here together. And that is the Milani Cheek Kiss in Hey Honey. You can see I have not used it. So this is a gamble, but we're just playing. Okay, and then I got a kind of a dense brush that you would use with a cream product. I'm going to get some. Ooh, it looks, look at that. That's a good sign that it gets on your brush, but it isn't ooey gooey ooey. If it's too ooey gooey, it doesn't work for my gooey gooey oily face. So okay, this is the hard part. I am so right handed. I really need to use my left hand more. Like even holding this brush, I don't even know what I'm doing. It's just like so weak feeling. So on this side, I have to take this hand and go like this. And you go right to your ear and then right along the side of your face. See, it will keep you from going too far down or too far down. Either way. Like that. Isn't that pretty? So now I'm going to get a little bit more and I might go a little bit higher up like that. Remember when I took the brush and I kind of went like that? That's why it's coming a little bit further down here. So we'll do that and just so it will be cohesive. But isn't that pretty? Now you may have been thinking that when right when I came on here, it looked like I had on contour. That is because I always wear a little bit of a darker foundation and then I go in with a lighter concealer, and then that just gives you a natural contoured look. The one I'm using today is the e.l.f. I'll put all of the names and everything down below. I believe it's medium peach. So now we have our contour. I'm actually gonna continue with this. Let's go around my forehead some. Okay, this, like I always say, depends on your forehead. I've got a big one, so, and I don't mind. I guess the older you get, the more you learn to embrace what you have, right? Okay, another thing is when I do my eyeshadow, I go ahead and contour the side of my nose all the way up to here with this color. So I've already done that. Also, all of my eyeshadow is this palette, all of it, and my lashes, everything. So that'll be down below. Okay, so now let's take this and do the jawline. And you wanna do it where you can see it and then come down and blend it down. Can you see a difference? I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, see right there where it was a little 
loose <laughs> and not as snapped in, go right on there and then blend it down. And that gives you a little bit more of that shadow. Honestly, if you're a no eyeshadow person, you just want to put something in your crease, you could take this brush right now and just go like that. Wow. Winner, winner, winner. Okay, and I've got on a new lip today, but before we get into that, I want to show you this blush. I think I've shown it to you before and I told you how impressed I was. It is good. It's the e.l.f. Cream Blush. So what I did, because I'm a little scared of these liquid blushes like this. Some of them can be so pigmented. So I'm going to rub it into my hand like that and I'm going to just pat it on. Isn't that pretty? And I'm sure you could bounce a beauty blender in it and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And you can kind of bring it up. But I prefer just a little bit. I just prefer doing it with my hands and then I will go wash them. I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got our contour. Let me go over that again for you. Okay, so you're going to take your hand, line your thumb up down your nose, and then line this part up right to the top of your ear, lay it down, and then like this. And you will be amazed. Watch the magic happen, <laughs> especially if you like that. Victoria's Secret contour like I do. Okay, so let's go over something else new that one of you told me about, and that is the Milani lipstick in Pink Frost. I ordered this and just got it, and it's what I'm wearing today. Beautiful, but it's very, very, very similar to the L'Oreal Mauve. Probably a little bit darker than Ballerina Shoes. My favorite is Peach Fuzz. And then the lip liners that I have on, I started off with, I think, a must-have, one of my favorites, which is Totally Toffee. I actually ate breakfast <laughs> and kind of freshened up, and I used my favorite, which is Matte's It. So you can see Totally Toffee is going to give you more of a pinky look. Matte's It is going to give you more of a brown, cooler tone. Okay. So that's what I have on now is kind of a mix of all of those. That's the best lip combo. I did try a new lip oil from Neutrogena and it's their little natural lip oil. Love it. Love it. It's not like a color. It's more of a glossy conditioning lip oil, but I still love it. It's one of those that like, let's just say it's three o'clock in the afternoon. I've got the remnants of my lip combo. I don't want to like reapply it. I just want to put something on my lips. That's when I would use this or overnight. I have more plumping things for overnight, but that is just good to have. Okay, this, you guys, if you haven't tried the Lumify to brighten the whites of your eyes, please try it. It works so good. This is a very youthful thing to have light, bright eyes that aren't bloodshot. I love it. I get that from Walmart. I did try this NYX Blur Screen SPF 30. It smells so much like coconut. And I think it's a beautiful foundation primer. My makeup goes over it very smoothly. I will say the first time I tried it, I used something different over it and it did not last very well, but I don't think it was the primer's fault. This gets excellent reviews. So today I'm going to wear this, see how it goes, and I will leave a comment. Let me just show you the consistency of this. It's like a thick I don't know what to even compare it to, but you can tell it's got something in it that is going to last and stick to you, like an emollient factor. And of course, I've used too much in too small of a space, but it's almost hard to spread out. You know what I mean? And then you get it on and it does have that grippy feeling and it smells like coconuts. It smells really good. So, so far, I think it's something good to try. And I'll let you know. It's just, I wanted to show you some new things I'm trying and then some old goodies like this. My favorite mascara ever, 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 especially drugstore. I've got a couple of other favorites, but if you want the most inexpensive, great mascara, that's my favorite. Okay, let me see. Is there anything else I wanted to go over here? I think that's it. So my earrings I ordered from Walmart. 
And my outfit is from Walmart. I will put a outfit of the day picture in here. And thank you guys for watching. I hope I could help you with this contouring tip and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.